My name is Michael Manning. We're at my studio in East Orange, New Jersey. I'm a painter. I work with uh, paintings that typically blend abstract and concrete elements that are narrative and use a lot of allegory. The first time I saw the Hatbox toilet, I was like, couldn't really believe it was the toilet. <laughs> it's an elegant object that you know we normally don't see in that way. Just looking at the product itself and some of the things that they're trying to get across about innovation and being bold and contemporary, it also worked really well with just the style of my painting in general. For this particular project, it, I was looking at mythology from Artemis. Uh, she's a goddess that uh, is associated with the bath. Um, and it, it just fit uniquely well. Typically when I start a painting, I'll do a little bit of research beforehand. Even though the paintings themselves are very abstracted and rely on a certain element of chance when putting them together, I, I start with a pretty defined set of images that, that maybe I'll, I'll use as an inspiration. Uh, right here I have um, an image from the Hatbox Toilet, an image from the myth of Artemis, some columns, Egyptian columns that I've been looking at, all that kind of help with the creative process. Uh, the, the painting is done on a column, which has a lot to do with this uh, formal idea of, of seeing paintings from more than one perspective. There's a, a lot of columns throughout history, like the Egyptian columns and the Trajan column, for you know how their narrative you, you go around it to read it, and it, it's, it's not from seeing one specific point, but from s literally walking around it that you get the total picture. Within the painting, there's a lot of layering that happens, um, so there'll be little clues to, let's say, the, the history of the product and the history of the mythology uh, as you go around. Some of the, the patterns I'm just making up, but Others I'll use as an echo, uh, you know, like this will eventually become an echo to the, the product itself. And it, it, it won't in the end be so literal, but um, it'll be a, a visual reference or a clue. When people see the finished product, I hope they get a sense of, of how an everyday object like the Hatbox Toilet can really be seen as a heroic event in the role it plays in our lives.